everyone and welcome back to my channel um, I'm coming back to do some more collage papers but I'm using something different I'm going to use tissue now I've done this before I've shown it on my channel before um, oh, hang on a minute that's not working let's try this one and oh, I don't think that will work I have to do it on that board there it's not big enough so this is just a tissue like you would have um, like to blow your nose on that kind of tissue um, it's a Kleenex man size tissue I think looks like there's two layers there but sometimes you get three layers doesn't matter however many layers you've got you work with that and I'm just using watercolor on it now I think I'm going to try this I did a multicolor one before this time I'm going to try and stick to um, let me just put some water on my paint I'm going to stick to like a color palette like blues and greens or orange and red rather than do completely multicolour things oh, I wish I could remember what the colours were on here I never can oh. they're stuck together as well I don't want that one I want the middle one come on open there we go I'm going to have to get a piece of paper and try them out that's obviously green is that another green or oh, a lovely green right that's three greens they're good this is where it goes funny this looks like a red color but is like a purpley blue this one looks purple but is blue and this one looks blue and is also blue okay let's try and remember that because this lot here as well that is blue although it looks green this looks yellow and it's purple oh, I think these are reds yeah these are my daughter's old school paints that's a nice color I like that okay just so that I know so we've got a green no we haven't we've got a blue there very bright blue and they're quite staining as well right let's try and see what we can do with this I'm going to use these because I think these are quite nice paints so you want it quite watery and you just it doesn't look great to begin with don't worry about it and it's going to look even worse on mine because I've got a red background but I want to be able to move it and do another sheet on my glass mat so I'm just using watercolor plenty of water making dots and you've seen me do this before I'm sure but I'm doing it is that a green let's hope so and it's all gonna look pretty much the same I think at the moment it might even look like that when I finished it's hard to show you it obviously because it's got a different color background and then when you oops, sorry when you've done this when you feel filled your um, paper that's definitely a different color green isn't it you let it dry and then when it's dry you'll be able to pull it apart and you'll have two sheets identical maybe one slightly less coloured than the others but I don't, I don't notice that when I did it before and you can um, use them both for collage so I'll do a greeny one and then I'll probably do a a ready orange one or something pinks or something Oh, I might add a little bit of blue to this. What colour? Was that a blue? Yeah. I haven't used this for collage, but we'll try to give it a go, and then we'll know whether it's any good. I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. I've cut. I mean, I've collaged it onto ATCs. just trying to find different ways to make things and I'm, the reason I'm using tissue and tissue paper and rice paper is that it blends well into the background 
rather than other. I mean, you can use normal paper, but sometimes you just want something to fade into the background. So we'll have to add a bit of yellow. Obviously don't put something on like purple that's going to make the green go brown and horrible. Um, I think there's a yellow and a here. Different type of paint this, even though it's part of the same set. It's very odd. I don't like this much. I'd say this was like more chalky. I'm just going to try and fill in the gaps a bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. The, you know, you can use any watercolour paints. Don't use your best stuff. I wouldn't. If you've got a cheap kid set, use that. And this will, don't try and pick this up. This will rip. So do it on something. Even if it's like this hideous red background, do it on something and then let it dry on that like overnight or something. And when it's completely dry, you can pull the two layers apart and you'll have two sheets. Oops, making a huge mess here. Anyway, you get the idea. I think what I'll do is I'll finish this one and I'll do another one, but I'll speed it up. But you get the idea. I'm just literally just going to fill this in and then leave it to dry. left this drying overnight it's come off my board fairly easily I did loosen it yesterday um, but this is what we've got here now all we need to do is work out how many I think it's just a two ply tissue but there we go if we do that we've got that's the that's the um, tissue side that I put the paint on this one, let's just turn it round so it's, so I think it goes like that, is the underside. So you've got two, two, two for the price of one there. Works really well. That's just watercolour on tissue paper. I did do another one. This one stuck a bit on my glass mat, but I've managed to rescue it. Um, this is the sort of pinks and whatnot. There. 
So we've got two of those as well. Pretty. So they'll be used for collage. And I did do another one. I just want to see how this worked. So this, I used kitchen paper. Now I used, it's called Plenty and it's quite a strong, it's supposed to be the sort of kitchen paper that you can ring, ring out. And I don't usually use it. I got it by, um, I'll say by accident. Now I don't know whether or not I can separate these. That's I just wanted to try it to see whether or not it would indeed separate. I have to give it a bit of a tear. Let's see if we can get into it. Yep. We can. So we can do it with kitchen paper too. Look at that. They're quite vibrant, those ones. So I love that process. That's given me because it gives you two sheets, or if you've got three ply, three sheets per um, thing. Now, what I haven't done is tried with the back of napkins. I fear that they might be too thin and they might tear, but I haven't tried it. So that is something that I could try. Well, try it, I did. Um, this is the back of a napkin. Let me just show you. That is the top sheet that I've taken off so there are two layers in here um, my napkin was larger than my um, like the red board that it was on so I did sort of tuck that bit underneath um, and I've used watercolors but I've used like pearlescent ones so they're a bit shiny but let us see if we can I have to, oops rip it a bit to get into it but it does appear to have worked as long as you're not too rough with your paintbrush um, when you're putting your paint on that's all here we go oops careful careful let's be careful there now I did four different areas so that I'd have different colours and things. I don't know if that's showing on the camera. There's a yellow one, a green one, a kind of pinky one and a, I don't know what colour that was supposed to be, orange and red I think. But we've got that and I think actually the pearlescent one, because there's mica in the paint, the top layer is pearlescent but actually this one is not, which is even cooler because it means I've got like a different same colours but different um, sheet. Anyway, I said I'd try it and I have tried it so it does work with the back of napkins as well. Um, so yes, those are my some more collage papers just using tissue like normal tissues that you blow your nose with. I don't know what they're called but normal tissues and kitchen paper as well. But as I said, this was the plenty um, tissue so it feels quite and now it feels quite plasticky um, with the paint on anyway thank you for watching hope you enjoyed that and um, take care see you soon bye for now